Hello and welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about what is pandas. So let's take a look. So you already know that pandas is a fast, powerful, and flexible, and easy to use open source data analysis and manipulation tool. And you already know that it's built on top of the Python programming language. But I also think it's important to talk about the documentation before we dive into the details about pandas. For example, this getting started section is pretty cool because it shows you that if you're coming from SQL and you already have some familiarity, you can see the select, group by, and join have equivalents in pandas. And also that Excel basically has a lot of similarities and the concepts are transferable, even though that the user interface is quite different. And here is the user guide. It's really helpful and has I guess this 10 minutes to pandas, which is really great, but anytime that you're working with some sort of a uh, method or attribute, or you have some sort of questions about the parameters, you can just type it in here. So let's say I'm working with the series, which is basically a column. You can just find that here and you can scroll through there, I think. Okay, so the first one, that's what I'm looking for. You'll be more familiar with these sort of dot notation, but that's the actual series uh, class. So let's take a look at that. And this is great. If you ever want to get rid of these highlights, just take away the, the fragment of URL after the question mark or the question mark and after, and then hit enter. And you'll just see the same documentation with all, all the highlighting. And then it gives you some examples that are really useful. And then we'll dive into the two major objects, which is basically a series and a data frame. So what is a series and a data frame? A series is basically a column and a data frame is two or more series put together or multiple columns. So just think rows and columns, right? Let me kind of explain that using the spreadsheet. I think this is the, probably the best uh, way to visualize it and it should make quite a bit of sense. And if it doesn't now, it will when we start to get into pandas. So this would be considered series. So this is a column and if you have two or more of these series, well, that would represent something called a data frame. So it's very similar to a spreadsheet, except that we're not using a graphical user interface like a spreadsheet. But first, let's talk a little bit about the history of spreadsheet programs. This is not a new concept, and I like to start here because a lot of people think that Excel was sort of the first tool, but actually it wasn't. It was something called VisiCalc. Let's take a look. So VisiCalc actually kind of looks like pandas. So this is a programmatic version of a spreadsheet, right? It's not like Excel that we just looked at or Google Sheets. And here you can see that we have these columns and they're kind of glued together. And I would consider that a data frame. And then right here you have the sort of the index. So this to me is already kind of like, like pandas, but this started in 1979 and it was originally for the Apple II computer. So it's been around for a while. However, if you scroll down here, you'll see that the first um, program, spreadsheet programs were actually in 1961. So Pandas, in my opinion, the concept has been around for a long time and there's always been a need for business to use spreadsheets. And so it's not Excel, the graphical user interface that was the first one. That's just the, the de facto tool for businesses because it's visual and it doesn't require a lot of training and it became very, very popular. But I just wanted to show you that this is not a new concept. It comes from 1961. So let's dive into a little bit more about pandas. So this is pandas inside of Jupyter Notebook. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of a tour of the final project, which is visualizing cryptocurrency. It's like a cryptocurrency portfolio. And I think this will give you a better idea of what Pandas is. Let's take a look. So in this very top section, we'll go over this in the course, but I just want to show you that first you import your libraries. And here, without having to do any web scraping at all, you're pulling information from the internet. And in this case, what we're doing is going to Yahoo Finance and grabbing Bitcoin prices in real time. And if you look, it's just one line of code. If you know how to web scrape, you know that this is pretty awesome because 
you need to know HTML with uh, web scraping and you have to write sometimes some functions and uh, you know this is a lot more sort of work involved with pandas you can use this data reader method here and it pulls that information so I think it's really cool so really something to look forward to at the very very end but let's keep on taking a look at this notebook to see what pandas is like so on top of that well here is the data frame that I was talking about in the series so this is our index right so instead of having numbers we're using dates because we're working with uh, cryptocurrencies same thing if you were working with stocks and again you can actually change the stock ticker here <laughs> to something like you know Microsoft or something and it would work the same so it's pretty cool you can do cryptocurrencies or uh, stocks so this is a series right here and there's another series and as you can see we have a bunch of series and that collection of series represents a data frame and so this is much like Excel or Google Sheets but it's inside of a Jupyter Notebook being powered by pandas you can also use matplotlib which we'll talk about to visualize data and so let's take a look at some of the visualizations and at the very end I'm going to show you a moving average and kind of explain a little bit about that so we have different ways of visualizing and they're called plots we're plotting here and these are the opening the high and opening and closing prices this is the opening closing and adjusted closing price and you're pl plotting more than one column in this case here you're plotting the volume and here we have the moving average so what's happening here so we're taking 10 20 and 50 day periods and smoothing out that line so what does that mean well let's take a look at this output this is our data frame with all of the real-time information from Yahoo Finance and this is a visualization and what it's doing is that normally you would see a lot of this up and down sort of behavior and sort of stock ticker right and cryptocurrencies especially do stuff like this right um, but what we're doing here with the moving average is smoothing that line out and that's why we have these different lines and you can see here we have a legend that shows you the 10 20 and 50 days and this is helpful to know when the, the prices are going up and when the prices are going down clearly it's going up and it's going down you can see here this is the low point and this is very useful when you're trying to manage a stock portfolio and trying to decide uh, about purchasing and so on so I just wanted to give you a little bit of preview and I think this is a, a nice explanation about what pandas is in the next video we'll dive into Jupyter Notebook because we really can't use pandas without some sort of a integrated development environment you could use Visual Studio Code but interactive notebooks such as Jupyter Notebook which is an or IDE is really probably the most popular tool and that's what we were looking at just now so um, without further ado I will see you in the next video and I hope this has been informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing